Hey guys, welcome back to Cryptolina channel. This MACD strategy that I'm going to show you is probably the highest win rate strategy ever tested on this channel on the 5 minute time frame. It's super easy to follow, it works on every market and most importantly it makes a lot of money. By the way, this strategy is not based on the traditional MACD indicator. Everyone else is using it includes an improved version of this indicator that works 10 times better. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my telegram group where I share all my trades for free and don't forget to claim your personal 450,000 bonus on Bybit. All you need to do is make a registration and make your first deposit and you get your bonus. And also if Bybit don't work in your country, you can use BitGet and get your $8,000 bonus for free. All the necessary link will be in the description and in the first pinned comment, so let's get started. Okay. Let's open GBBGPY on a 5 minutes time frame and add our secret MACD indicator to the chart. So we will search for AKMACDBB. This indicator by Elgukit. As we can see, this indicator looks much differently from the regular MACD. It comes with a zero line, three types of different moving average and bar colors. For our strategy, we are not going to need the bar colors, so let's disable them. There are multiple ways how you can utilize this tool in this video. I'm going to show you the smartest and the most efficient way of using it. Even though I believe this indicator is a great tool and it provides crazy accurate signals, we still need to add two more indicators to the chart to eliminate potential for signals. Now let's double click on indicator and in the star section let's get rid of everything except for the MA baseline and the bar colors. In the input section let's change the baseline length from 60 to 30 and the baseline time from HMA to EMA. And finally let's access the settings on his volume indicator and get rid of the bar colors. We finished with our adjustments, now let's understand how these two indicators will help us eliminate the four signals issued by the MACD indicator. So first let's start with this SSL hybrid. This is a very powerful trend filter, we will use it to confirm the entries given by the MACD. Generally speaking, we are only going to be looking to buy when the price action is closed above the AMA and the line is blue color. For sell signals to be confirmed, the price action must be closed below the EMA and the EMA has to be red. And to increase our chances of success even more, we are going to be looking at this volume indicator every time we place buy and sell orders. As you can see, this indicator displays buys and sellers volumes. This is a very useful indicator because, for example, our strategy gives us a signal to sell, but a volume indicator is telling us that the bias trend is higher. In this situation, we wouldn't take that short trade because the overall volume is bullish. Okay, now we know how these indicators work, let's proceed to the exact rules for entering long and short trade. So here are the conditions for entering a short trade. So first, the price action must be moving below the EMA and then it has to create a pullback. The pullback is confirmed when the EMA change its color from red to gray or from red to blue. If the price action is touching the EMA but the line doesn't change the color, the pullback is not confirmed. Second, once we had this pullback, we are going to be waiting for the MACD to issue a new continuation short signal. For that, a red circle must appear on the indicator. And most importantly, this circle shouldn't touch across the zero level while they being green. Like it happened right here, for example, because this automatically cancels a continuation signal and the last condition we need to have for entering a short trade is to have the seller's trends above 50 at the time the MACD indicator issues a new short signal. The stop loss can be set either at the EMA line or at the recent swing high and for this strategy we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. If the volume indicator doesn't confirm a selling pressure at the time the signal was issued, we are not waiting for it to catch up, we are simply waiting for a new signal. 
Okay, let's see one more short example. So here we see the price action was moving below the EMA and then it pulled back into. The pullback is valid because the EMA changed this column. We are looking down at the MACD indicator and we're seeing that we have a new valid continuation short signal. As we can see, the circles didn't touch across the zero level while they were being green. By the way, here is an example where the signals wouldn't be valid. And finally, we're looking at the volume indicator for a third confirmation. We've seen that the seller's trend is greater than the buy's trend and this gives us a confidence to enter a short trade. Okay. Now let's understand the conditions to go long. First, the price action is moving above the EMA and then it pulls back into it. The pullback is valid only when we have the EMA changing its color from blue to gray or from blue to red. And once we have a confirmed pullback, we are going to be looking at the MACD indicator for a continuational long signal. So a new green circle must appear on the indicator and most importantly, the circles must not touch across the zero level while they've been red. And finally, we are going to be looking at the volume indicator for a sufficient bias trend. If this trend is over 50, we can confidently enter a long position. The stop loss can be set either at the EMA or at the recent swing low and we're going to be targeting one and a half times the risk. You definitely have to make sure that you follow the exact rules I just showed you, otherwise the strategy won't work. Okay, let's see one more long example. So here we see the price action made a valid pullback. The MACD indicator issued a new continuation long signal and the bias trend is 55%. Notice when the market is moving sideways, we usually have the MACD circles touching or crossing the zero level. You can also spot a range in market with the help of this volume indicator. If the volume is 50, there is usually an indecision going on. So avoid taking trades during these times as much as you can. Okay, traders, now you know the exact rules of this strategy. Let's proceed to our backtesting to find out is it true win rate. So I tested the strategy 100 times, I found those setups within 4 months, as we can see, the results are crazy good. Just like I promised at the beginning of this video, the win rate is 74% and we gained the 427.03% of profit on our account. The profit vector is 4.27 and we had 6 consecutive wins against 2 consecutive losses. The maximal drawdown doesn't exceed even 5%, which is really impressive. But this is only the backtesting phase. You must understand that all backtests are unique. Don't base your investment decisions off on this advice. 
or you must forward test every strategy with paper money before trading life. By the way, the spreads and fees are not included. It also affects the real results, but uh, despite all these strategies, still shows amazing results. I definitely recommend it go ahead and test it on different markets and different time frames as well. Okay, I think it's all for now. I hope you like this video if you found this information useful. By the way, I found a secret hack to increase uh, the win rate for almost uh, any strategy. If you want to know which hack I use, uh, you can check out this video right here. So it's all for now. Bye!